So the year is 1986. And much like Dev and Ops, the rock band and the rap band are on opposite sides of the wall. Dev often beating their head against the wall trying to figure out what's going on. One day a developer pokes a hole in the wall and says, what the heck's going on over there with operations? And you know what happens? They tear down the wall. They come together, each bringing their own strengths to delight the audience, their customers. This is collaboration. This, my friends, is the birth of DevOps. This collaboration between Aerosmith and Run DMC was the brilliant, brilliant idea of Rick Rubin, a famous music producer. Today, Rick Rubin continues his illustrious career as a producer, and he tweets about DevOps every single day. Although, I don't think he even knows what that word is. <laughs> Sometimes adversity creates an environment for good things to grow. That's DevOps. That's DevOps. Rick doesn't even know the word DevOps, but this is exactly how we all started. I have a question for you. Are you leading or are you following? And does it matter? It probably doesn't matter, but again, in DevOps, we're all leaders and we're all learning from each other, so in a sense, we're all also followers. Rick again with some great uh, advice for us here. The challenge though for you is to grow along with what you are creating. This is fundamental to DevOps. DevOps is about continuous improvement. Are you growing with the things that you are creating? I believe that you can. In fact, the goal is to progress and get better at your craft. And Rick and I have great news for you. This is something that everyone can do. You can get better at your craft and you are progressing. You're here at DevOps Days, congratulations. You've taken the next step. Let's see, what, what else does Rick have to say? Thinking doesn't always solve problems. Sometimes creating space allows inspiration to do the work. Sometimes what we need to do is walk away from the problem. Sometimes what we need to do is get together with other people and talk through it. We aim for pure perception with as little noise in the way as possible. Rick Rubin even knows about monitoring and observability. <laughs> Look at that. Incredible. Uh, DevOps. It's DevOps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're successful as soon as you send your work out into the world. Working code wins. You cannot get good user feedback until your users can experience the art, the craft that you've created. So you are truly successful once you send it out. And the reason to finish is so that you can start something new. Stop starting, start finishing. This is all things that we say all the time in DevOps. Rick Rubin knows what's going on. The synergy of a group is, an, is as important, if not more important, than the talent of the individuals. There is no such thing as a 10x developer. You want a 10x team. And also, please stop measuring your individual developers. Okay, do you want to be right, or do you want to do what's best for the work? This is collaboration not only between dev and ops, but security and the business and legal and finance and QA, ooh, I almost tripped, uh, all of this. The closer we can come to experiencing our work as the audience experiences it, the better position we are in to evaluate it. How many of you have used the applications or services that you've built as your customers? You have to build that customer empathy. Now here's Rick on the difference between agile and waterfall. Some can see the end of the, the end, the day they begin. Others can't see it until it is upon them. One is not better than the other. Rick isn't always right. <laughs> Avoid, avoid thinking of your old work as being better or worse than your new work. It's always different, a new reflection of a new you, the result of more time. He understands legacy code also. <laughs> this, is, this is the number one lesson to take away. Always see if it can be better and always check back to make sure you didn't ruin it. As we continually change, we hope to continuously improve, but we have to check that. And finally, from Rick, as we're getting ready to go into the open spaces, some inspiration. If you're listening or speaking, either way, you are participating in the conversation. So my ask to you, my request of you today, is to be more like Rick. And if you want to read more of his tweets, follow him online and grab his book, The Creative Act, A Way of Being, because DevOps is a way of being. Thank you so much.